Well, good morning. I'm reporting to you from Banff, quote unquote, National Park. And, and it's different, for me a little disappointing. Whereas in the States, the National Park seem to be set up more on natural uh, occurrences, geologic formations, nature and wildlife. Banff here is set up on tourism. And the little city of Banff is kind of is kind of the place. That's where we're taking pictures of now. By noon, this will be. You can see in the crosswalk it goes X's and up and down. It'll be just packed people by noon, I'm sure. Um, originally, they found hot springs here at Banff the Banff Hot Springs and I guess they just everything developed. There's lots of spas here, lots of resorts, so I guess everything just kind of developed on this idea of vacation and springs and stuff like that. Um, the scenery, I mean I guess you could just say you could be looking at the scenery of the mountains but even that's obscured right now because they've got wildfires all up and down the the Icefield Parkway, and that's bringing in lots of smoke. Can barely see that mountain in front of you. See, there's supposed to be a mountain right there, and it's just almost can see about one mountain distance, and that's all you can see. So today we're going to try to hit some of the little museums and stuff that they have, and see see what we got. They do have the one little Bow Valley Parkway that has two or three little. Uh, stops along it but that's really all there is for uh, nature and scenery and hiking and stuff like that it's mostly just this little village and spas it reminds me and it's close to a it's close to a major city Calgary's just maybe an hour and a half away it reminds me maybe maybe if you flew into Denver went up the mountain to Vail or Aspen and hung out a couple of days and said you've been to a national park that was your national park experience hanging out in Vail which is much different than going to the hoodoos at Bryce Canyon or going to Yellowstone or going to Chaco Canyon much much different idea of national park but anyway here's the Banff, Banff River and there's the one of the old buildings right at, right ahead. But I guess they're only open for, you know, three, four months out of the year, so maybe they just don't do as much development. But it seems very underdeveloped from a nature and scenery point of view. So anyway, that's my reporting from Banff, quote unquote national park, just a little city of. And we'll see what the museums are like today maybe get some more pictures hopefully it'll change as I go north to Lake Louie and Jasper but that's where all the fires are too so we may not get much uh, may not get much scenery unfortunately all right adios more later bye Well, I guess it's no wonder Canadian parks are so underdeveloped. So it's 9.15 in the morning, and I'm the only soul here, except for the park wardens who are down there starting their morning meeting. <laughs> and evidently, I guess this used to be the pool. I'm just discovering on my own around walking. It used to be the pool, and we're in the bathhouse. And then you'd have the views, if we didn't have any smoke, you'd have the views of all kinds of mountains out there. I can see one or two. That's about all I can see. It's just real close to me. And so, I guess you'd be sitting in the pool and having all kinds of views of mountain ranges. But, if nobody's going to come to the national parks, I guess there's no need to develop them. So this, <laughs> this is the original Hot Springs Bathhouse at Banff National Park. 
<laughs> oh well. <laughs> Well, I must say, I think if Canada put as much time and money into taking care of their park as they do making their administration building beautiful, they might have more visitors to their park. So this is out the front view of the administration building down Banff Avenue. And now you're starting to see all the tourists in Banff Avenue. <laughs> but nobody's here at the garden checking out where their Canadian dollars are being spent. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's neat to me. I like it. Here's the administration building. And there was no access to the administration building to go check it out. But there it is. All right, more later. Not sure how well you'll be able to see some of these things, but I'm going to try to take some pictures. It's not listed as a glacier, so I'm sure it's just a snowpack. And there's another one. We're on the north side of these uh, mountains now. So these are probably just all snowpack. Difference being that an actual glacier, to be called a glacier, it has to move, it has to have movement. Otherwise, it's just a snowpack. 
So anyway, I'm going to try to take some pictures as I go along here, the Icefield Parkway, through the far. All right, that's my first picture. Well, I'm here at the Saskatchewan River Crossing. And can you see the mountain? <laughs> Barely. Can you see the smoke rising? Well, it's really too bad. My unfortunate adventure in Canada. Those would all be mountains there that you would be seeing. And I can tell even through the smoke, this would probably be one of the most beautiful drives ever 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 but the fires and the smoke and you can see a few mountain tops through the smoke as I'm panning around and it's early in the morning it's only about nine o'clock have to come early because they won't let you come after two but there's my truck and can you see a mountain through there barely that's just too bad isn't it all right, well, that's all the way around now. But yeah, I can just tell even through the smoke. This would be a beautiful, beautiful drive. It would just be amazing. But you just can't see any of it because there's nothing but smoke. Oh, well. The epitome of oh, well. All right. Well, I'll leave you with a mountain that you can see through the smoke and tell you that maybe I'll have to come back sometime. I don't know, it'll be a long way to come back. But it's the Saskatchewan River crossing on the Icefields Parkway between Lake Louise and Jasper National Parks in Canada. Oh well. The glacier, Peto Glacier and Peto Lake. Let's come all the way to the end there. Feeds into the into the lake. But now the glacier is way back up the mountain. And I hope you can see it with the smoke. There it is. Glacier that feeds down to Pinto Lake. And Pinto Lake is up to the mountains, which you really can't see. <laughs> Would be a beautiful place in the right condition. So we have another glacier. This is called, let me look at the list, Bow Glacier. Bow Glacier. Let me get in as close as I can. And boy, sure wish you could see. Sure wish I could see. 
And there's the falls. They say that's a good hike, but if you can't see them, why hike it? So anyway, that's the Bow Glacier and the Crowfoot Glacier. See if I can go on the other side of the mountain here without the trees. The Crowfoot Glacier is through the trees. Okay, you're not gonna be able to see it, I don't think. It's it's just past that one tree you can see. <laughs> the other side of that one tree is a white glacier <laughs> blending in with the white smoke. <laughs> Oh, it's just too bad. Oh, well. But anyway, that's the Crowfoot Glacier on the other side of that tree. And if I panned out to see what you really see, then you really don't see them at all. I mean, I can see them with my eyes because, like I've said many times, the eyes are better than a camera. But anyway, you can see the Bow Glacier. Leads into the Bow Lake. Leads into the Bow River. That's the parkway we were on for all those other... Uh, activities. All right, later. It's a better shot of the of the Crow's Foot Glacier, but it's still pretty washed out. So that's the glacier that's carving down into that valley, I guess. All right, there's the Bow Lake at the bottom. Okay, so much for the crow's foot glacier. When they named it Moraine Lake, they weren't kidding. The terminal Indian Moraine rubble of a glacier that made this lake. And Moraine Lake is right on. Too bad you can't we can't see. All up in there is snow and waterfalls and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, there's Moraine Lake. There's the moraine that made it. Moraine is the rubble caused by a glacier. Either parallel with it, or in this case perpendicular, and so it's called a terminal, or an ending moraine. And the water coming out of the lake. Alright, well, there you go. There's your education for the day. And back to Lake Moraine. Again, just tons of potential to be a great shot. Waterfall at the end, boats on the lake. And pan back to get a beautiful shot of the Rocky Mountains. And there's nothing there. <laughs> oh well. I mean, I can see it with my eyes. There's just great potential in that shot but it's not there.